What are you doing, cowsy wowsies? Come and check me out. See what the heck I'm up to. I'm just going for a walk. That's right. Carry on. Keep on moving. Nothing to see here. What? Yeah, that's right. Move along. Well, while I'm waiting for the local traffic to pass, I'm getting ready to go for a hike. And I don't know if you can tell by the clouds or not, but it is extremely humid today. There is no breeze whatsoever. I can't feel any breeze. Uh, I don't know, I think it's like 80% humidity. Might only be 70. I forgot, I just looked and I forgot. Shush, I'm trying to talk here. Trying to talk, shush. So yeah, it's like 70 or 80% humidity, zero breeze and about 83 degrees. Whew. It's just one of those sticky days. It feels like it could release a real heck of a thunderstorm any second. And according to my phone, we have a good chance of severe thunderstorm activity this evening. So I believe it. All right, I'm gonna go hiking here after, uh, like I said, after all this traffic passes. Oh, the trees have got some buds and stuff on them, and boy, they all smell really, really good right now. Um, this is that tree that I sawed out those branches a little bit over there, trying to make a walkthrough path. And some of that wood was green when I cut it, but as you can see, there is no green on this tree at all. That tree should look like this right now. So, it is a dead tree. My dang. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going down in there right now today because there is loads of poison ivy around here. Not going to sit here. Dang it. Trying to get this hawk on camera, but every time I get my camera out, he flies off and out of sight. But I did notice over here, oh, zoomed in a little too far. I got some nice thunderstorms building up. And you see over here on the right hand side. Look at the way that is forming. It's quite the line across there. That's got some power to it. Wind's starting to pick up. I can feel a breeze now. So yeah, getting some mushrooms to those clouds and Boy, those things are changing in a hurry, aren't they? Another good one off over here, too. That one. That one's billowing up in a hurry. Way off over there, though. But let's zoom back over to the first one I showed you. Because it looks way different now. Doesn't even look like the same dang cloud. Look at that. That is quite a change. Okay. Neat little piece of iron pyrite right there. Now oh, that tree right over there, an owl flew out. Oh man, I love owls. I would might have an owl as a pet. They're amazing animals. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about stuff while I'm walking here a little further. And I remembered that when I was younger, I used to think I hated all kinds of birds. I just hated birds. But once I got older and got to be around different species of birds, turns out I just don't like chickens. <laughs> I love ducks. Ducks are awesome. Owls are great. Uh, ravens are amazing. Uh, 
if you haven't watched Fable the Raven over on Falconry and, Falconry and me, you gotta check that out. That, that, that thing's amazing. Um, yeah, I actually like going to bird shows, you know, like where they have those uh, falconry demonstrations that, you know, for the public to come to. I really enjoy those, so I like birds. I just don't like chickens, apparently. Not a bad sized deer shed. I came down here for a drink and either fought somebody else off or just rubbed it on the grass here. But I don't know if that helps with scale at all or not. Can't get the camera far enough away. There we go. Nope, nope. Decent sized. Make a decent knife handle. <sighs> Clouds are definitely rolling in. It is changing out here. I mean, it's kind of cloudy earlier, but um, they're contiguous now. It's like just solid clouds and they're getting black under the bottom of them. Uh, I was actually really wanting to go camping tonight because today is Memorial Weekend. It's Sunday, whatever the date is. Uh, but I saw a couple days ago that according to Windy TV, tonight was just going to be brutal for thunderstorms popping up all over Kansas and well, it looks like Nebraska and Oklahoma too. So I was like, yeah, I better not plan on going camping because it is not fun camping in a Kansas thunderstorm. I've done it before. I have one really good memory of back in the mid nineties, several of my friends and I went camping and we were just kind of out in the middle of the pasture. There's a little pond below us, but there weren't any trees or anything around. And we were in one of those old army tents that had the single pole up the middle and the little wires that go out to hold the, you know, make it square at the top. It's kind of a pyramid style kind of a pyramid style tent and uh, a storm hit in the middle of the night because that was before we had radar and you know smartphones and all that stuff and we had no idea the storm was going to roll in and it actually snapped that center pole of the tent in the middle of the night when that storm hit we actually went home uh we we'd all driven out to the campsite we were at and we we packed up what we could and went home because it was a downburst, a microburst of some sort. That thing, that was bad. It was a bad storm. Uh, and that actually segues into what I was going to talk about today. And that is, I should quit. And I don't know, I brought a notebook with me, but now that I'm checking the radar and seeing these clouds, unfortunately, because of where I'm parked and the roads I had to take to get back in here, I think I might just have to scoot on home and not talk to you about it right now. This is looking very menacing and radar is bad. It's There's hail just northeast of me and there's a huge storm brewing just south of me. So I think I need to scoot on out of here. But yeah, you know, when do you quit? Uh, it's There's this uh, phenomenon called get there itis and humans experience it all the time. Well, I'm just, I'm getting really nervous about these clouds. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pack it in. There's, there's a lot of crap building up around me right now. So let's go home and finish the rest of this. I know this is a, I don't really, I really don't like talking to you sitting in the house. It just kind of feels stale and I don't know. I prefer it out here where nature is wonderful, but I don't want to get stuck. I'm going to get stuck right now. I can I can guarantee it. If it starts raining, I'm not going to make it back out of these roads that I came in on. Uh, and then I will have to spend the night until someone can get me out or until it dries out or whatever. So, which I mean, I'm not opposed to. I'm prepared to spend the night. I brought plenty with me, but I might as well be, I might as well be wise and I might as well quit right now. I've got a pretty good walk back to my pickup. So, I need to get moving. Hi, hey, Mr. Turtle. Oh, sun's trying to come out between those clouds. Where are you going, Mr. Turtle? Hi. Hi, uh, the wind is really increasing. I hope you can hear me. Uh, 
sun came out for just a second. A little break in the clouds, and I was laughing at myself for heading back to the pickup. But now that I've gotten over here to this point, there is a major disruption right there. There's something there. You can see the fog clouds kind of dropping down off of it, like that one there. Really dropping down a little bit. That's just fog clouds. So, I mean, there is something there. Oh yeah, I better just keep on heading home and not second guess myself. Somebody missing a pair of cowboy boots? What the heck is that all about? Huh. Been walking about 10 minutes and that thing is growing. I don't know if it's actually getting bigger or just getting closer to me, but something coming my way. I'm gonna keep my cell phone running here while I uh, walk see if I can catch some of this thunder on camera it has been non-stop this is crazy they're rolling in fast Didn't even get in my pickup and it started raining on me. It's a coming. Look at that storm rolling in. So it is Memorial Day, the day after I went hiking. It is quarter to three in the afternoon. And it is still raining. I was hoping it would clear off, like that storm had come through last night. That'd be it. I'd be able to go out and do some more walking again today, but just rain, rain, rain. This is crazy. This is almost 24 hours of rain. I forgot what time I left last night. Yeah, it was five, wasn't it? So 22 hours of rain. <laughs> 